All right, good morning, everybody. We'll do a round two of this video. I did not have the right camera facing uh, me, so uh, that's one of the fun things about doing a live video, uh, making mistakes, and we'll try it again. Uh, this will be a comparison of McDonald's Shamrock Shakes versus one that my wife, Colleen, actually helped create uh, for our household, uh, especially St. Patrick's Day is coming up real soon. Spring is in the air. A lot of advertisements on the radio about these shamrock shakes. And first thing I want to do is talk about the ingredients in the shamrock shake from McDonald's. There's three components to it. Uh, there's the vanilla reduced fat ice cream. There's the shamrock shake syrup. And then there's the whipped cream, which is a light version. And I will post pictures of the ingredients, the nutrition facts, as well as a few other pictures of what I'm going to talk about uh, here in the next few minutes in the comments below. So in the ice cream, we have milk, sugar, cream, corn syrup, natural flavor, mono and diglycerides, cellulose gum, guar gum, carrageenan, and vitamin A palmitate. In the shamrock shake syrup, we have the high fructose corn syrup and then regular corn syrup. And we have water, sugar, natural flavor, xanthan gum, citric acid, sodium benzoate as a preservative, yellow five, blue one, and it says it may contain small amounts of other shake flavors due to the machine mixing or, or, or whatnot. And last, we have the whipped cream, uh, which is nonfat milk, liquid sugar, and 2% or less of mono and diglycerides, natural flavors, carrageenan, and whipping propellant, which is nitrous oxide. And I mentioned yesterday uh, the citric acid. The, um, I estimated that the, the majority of it is from the Aspergillus niger mold. Well, it turns out uh, the, the PubMed article I read mentioned that about 99% of the citric acid in manufactured food products is from that mold. And they estimate about 70% of that comes from China. So again, it's important to know the source. So if you're interested in finding it out, call the manufacturer of the product that you're curious about. They won't tell you it's time to move on and find another product because you need to know what you're putting in your body. It's vitally important. The dyes we talked about yesterday with their hyperactivity problems with kids and adults, and a lot of them contain aluminum, which is a neurotoxin and should not be in the brain. Um, so that's their sh shamrock shake. And then they're for a small, I'm not sure of the size of ounces, but this is a small at 460 calories and a whopping 63 grams of sugar. So that is an enormous amount of sugar in a small package. And we're going to compare that to our homemade shamrock shakes, which contain only six ingredients. First one is a large handful of ice. Next one is a large ripe frozen banana. It's important to have it frozen because that gives the shake um, a much thicker consistency. We don't thicken it with carrageenan or guar gum like some of the manufactured products. Use what nature has. Nature has the answers. Use one cup of almond milk and it's important that the almond milk is organic and does not have carrageenan or guar gum in it. Uh, we use an eighth a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Start light on that. You don't want to be overpower with it, but an eighth of a teaspoon uh, goes a long way. And the key ingredient that makes it green is this. It's nitro greens from Biotics Research. This is 100% organic cereal grasses and um, I'll try to show you the label on it. I will post this afterwards in the comments below but everything in this is organic and if you can see in here that's what it looks like. So not only does it make it a nice green color but you're getting a healthy dose of greens in your shake with it. And this is something we add every day to our shake um, in the morning, sometimes we have it at night. Great way to get greens in your diet uh, if you're not um, willing to put in the work to do the cutting up of raw vegetables and uh, making your salad. This is a great alternative. And then last, we add in a few chocolate chips on top. We like the uh, Enjoy Life chocolate chips, you know, maybe four or five on top. Uh, they do have some sugar in it, but um, all said and done, if you mix all that up, you'll get about 20 ounces of shake that you can split between um, you, your wife, and we add it uh, or split some off for our son. And 
each serving has about 10 grams of sugar. So uh, 53 less or 51 less, uh, 53 less grams of sugar per serving in this. So that is the recipe for our shamrock shake. I said before, I'll post it below. I sell this Nitro Greens here at Integrated Health Services. I would appreciate any support you could lend by ordering through me. Um, Amazon does not have an agreement with Biotics to sell their products. So if you're going to look on Amazon, this is only available through practitioners. So the chances are the stuff on Amazon is going to be uh, counterfeit. I've seen it happen before, so don't fall into that trap. Uh, support small businesses. I would certainly appreciate uh, any support you could lend. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below or you can send me a private message directly uh, on Facebook. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the Moselle Shamrock Shake versus McDonald's Shamrock Shake. Cheers. Be well.